我们的刻纸主要是用这把刀把这个画刻出来的。它具有西洋化立体，呃，人物的个性。Chinese people have been pasting paper cuttings on windows for centuries. It's a tradition as well as a good luck charm, considered especially auspicious during festivals. The intricate patterns and bright colors of these paper cuttings have made these things a symbol of happiness in China. Chinese paper cutting is renowned the world over. All a Chinese folk artist needs is some red paper and a knife, and before you know it, the ordinary pieces of paper are being turned into pieces of paper cutting. The art of Chinese paper cutting has a history of over 1,400 years. Artists first draw the patterns on pieces of paper, then cut them out. It's a process that's easy to describe, but complex to perform. Another process quite similar to paper cutting is paper carving. Although similar, paper carving is considered the more exquisite of the two. And one person specializing in it can be found in Yixin City in Jiangsu Province. Her name is Roy Bourdieu, and she's been a paper carving artist for three decades. Much like paper cutting, paper carving is also considered a symbol in China, a symbol of happiness and celebration. But despite the similarities, when it comes to making paper carving, The process is entirely different from that of paper cutting. First, artists design the patterns they will be carving on the paper. These patterns are usually derived from folk customs. They could be common flowers, birds, fishes, and even insects. Once the design has been sketched, it's time to carve. Artists use knives of different sizes and thickness depending on the design itself. But before they can start carving, the knives have to be sharpened first. Then the carving can begin. The strokes are sometimes light. Sometimes heavy, again, depending on the design. Each design is different from the other, varying in shape, size, as well as thickness of the lines. Some patterns take several hours to carve, while others could take days. The process of making a paper carving is tough. One challenge it poses compared to painting is that the carving must be done in one continuous process without any interruptions. Also, when painting, artists can make changes, correct mistakes, but in paper carving, given the tool in use is a knife, there is no margin for error. One wrongly placed cut will ruin the entire piece. Because of its historical status in Chinese culture, paper carving is now also on the World Non-Material Cultural Heritage list. As a result, it's gaining even more attention. Like a small one. Oh, very nice. 嗯，刀要像拿毛笔一样这样子拿好了，嗯、手要这样子竖直了啊，拿直竖直、嗯，然后呢，做的姿势要正，先从里边细的地方刻出来，啊，刻的时候呢，刀一定要竖直的。Being shown paper carving for the first time, it's time to put the newly learned skills to the test. 
goal is to successfully carve a panda. Finally, my first paper cut. Oh, yeah.